Hello, hello, hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. And this is going to be problem number two of today's video contest, uh, Water Bottles 2. And we have already live with three and four problem. So you can just go and go and check it. In this, we are just given some bottles and also an exchange. I'll tell you what this says. It says that num bottles represents that you have full water bottles initially in the very beginning. Let's say this num bottle is eight and this exchange is, let's say, three. So I have eight water bottles in the very beginning, which I have right now. Okay. In one operations, you can perform from the following things. What you can do is you can drink any number of full water bottles. Again, you can drink the water bottle considering it is full. And when you will, and you, when you will drink it, you will actually see, okay, I have drink, I have drunk that water bottle. Okay. That is counted. I can drink maybe one, maybe two, maybe three up till eight. I can drink full water bottles. So are you saying that I can drink? At max, eight water bottles? No, I'll not say that because this next condition that if a water bottle becomes empty, then I can in the exchange of three empty water bottles, I can get a one full water bottle. In exchange of three empty water bottles, I can get a one water bottle, which is full one. And thus, maybe if I have empty ones, I can just uh, sell them and get one and can get one full water bottle and then can use that to drink. Now I have to tell that what is the maximum number of water bottles which I can drink, right? But there's a very, very, very big catch in this condition that as soon as I am saying that I will sell three water bottles, I cannot sell them at the same time. And again, as soon as I do a sell, my num exchange, which means next time to get a one water bottle, I have to sell four empty water bottles. So, and again, if I come on back, this is a very big condition that I cannot exchange multiple batches of empty water bottles for the same value of num exchange. What this means is, let's say in the very beginning, you consumed all eight water bottles. Now you have eight empty water bottles. You have eight empty water bottles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you have eight empty water bottles. So although you might think, RN, I will do one thing. I will sell these three water bottles in a cost of and I will get one full water bottle and I will also sell these three water bottles. I get a one full water bottle. Now I will drink these two water bottles. I'll get an empty water bottle here. Let's say empty water bottle here, empty water bottle here. And then again, I will have four water, like again two. So these were two ones. Now, okay, after this iteration of uh, selling these water bottles, I know my num exchange will increase by one. So it will become a four. And then I can say, okay, I have four water bottles right here. I can consume them. I can basically sell them and get a one full water bottle again. But there's an issue. What you did here is not is not permitted which means you cannot sell batches of water bottle in the same exchange value which means okay when this first batch when this first okay when you have sold three empty water bottles you consumed or you or you got one water bottle okay which means one water bottle then again let's say it becomes empty after consuming it now you have now your num will increase to four now you have to sell four water bottles to get one full water bottle again remember after consuming this you have got one empty one let's add this empty one in the end and end okay now you will get one water bottle and again after consuming it you will get an empty one let's add it, add it in the end now again it will increase to five now you need to have five empty water bottles to actually get this new water bottle full water bottle so that is a very 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 important condition which you should make sure now let's say the example uh, as you can see we have in the very beginning 13 full water bottles so for sure i can consume all 13 of them right now if i consume all 13 again i have to keep count of how many i consumed so i consume 13 of them now all 13 became empty now i will just start start exchanging them with the full water i, I I'll, I'll exchange this exchange number of water bottles with a full water bottle so i know i will exchange six water bottles empty ones i get a full water bottle again i will consume that full water bottle and i will make i'll make this empty and okay empty one i added now again as soon as i did my first batch okay next one for next one i should increase that to the increase value increase by one if i increase by one i will i will now have to consume seven uh, i will now have to sell seven empty water bottles so one two three four five six seven now these seven will give me one full water bottle. Again, I will consume that again. 
and again this will become empty so i will just add that now again in this iteration i will need to have eight empty water bottles to sell to get a one full water bottle but i'll say i don't have any water bottles so this is the maximum number i can actually consume so answer is 15. same way let's say if for the next example i have 10. so in the very beginning i can consume all i can consume all 10 water bottles i consume that great now i know that okay my exchange value is three so i will sell this three empty water bottles i'll get a full water bottle now i will consume that full water bottle okay consume that so it, this will become empty now it will be increased to four in the next iteration i have to sell four water bottles so i'll sell four water bottles now i'll just get one full water bottle i'll consume that this will become empty now i have to now sell five water bottles i have to sell five water bottles again i will sell them get one full water bottle again empty it and then i get an empty one now i'll get try six but uh, i don't have six so simply okay skip it so you see we just simply in the very beginning itself added again in the very beginning itself i added in my answer number of water bottles now i imagined empty water bottles for me will be number of full water bottles i have because in the very beginning itself i made them empty now at every iteration i am removing num exchange number of water bottles i am removing num exchange which means let's let's write the code i have empty water bottles i have empty water bottles which is 10 in the very beginning because i have added in my answer as number of water bottles which i have 10 I have added that so i have now empty water bottles now i will just keep on going and keep on removing bottles from empty water bottles i will keep on removing until i am just lost until i am done and how i know i will be done when my empty water bottles if it is again if it is more than equal to my exchange amount then i can for sure sell it exchange amount i can for sure sell it so again when i sell it i will say one thing bro for all these for all these which means I know that my answer answer will increase by one because I will only be getting one water bottle for this exchange amount and this empty water bottle will reduce by this value which is exchange value so my empty water bottle empty water bottles let's say I had x number of water bottles it will reduce by minus equals to exchange amount exchange how many I did exchange but I also remember on every exchange I will get one full water bottle for which I added in my answer but then as I will add it it will become empty so empty will also be increased by one and then simply I will also know that okay next iteration I have to consume I have to sell num exchange value plus one so I'll also do a num exchange which means exchange value whatsoever I had exchange of water bottles I have to do plus one plus plus and thus I will simply be getting and updating my answer and this is my final answer let's see the code it's pretty simple I firstly had in the answer as number of water bottles and I made again I can I drank all of them and I made all of them empty so my empty water bottles will become num water bottles and I will keep on going until my num water bottles are more than equal to my exchange exchange value okay exchange number of water bottles so and at every step I will reduce num exchange number of water bottles from my empty ones which means num exchange water bottles i will sell to the my kabadi wala and then will get one water bottle if i get one so i know it is a full water bottle and for sure i will drink that also if i drink that and add it in my answer which means this will become empty so you can see one empty water bottle will actually increase because of this one itself and then ultimately at every iteration my num exchange should increase by one for sure and ultimately i get i can simply return the answer thus you can simply see that your answer or basically your entire loop can go at max up till whatsoever value of num water bottles you might have and you can easily see that it is actually increasing by one increasing by one but at every step it is actually decreasing also and if you go back and get the constraints your num water bottle if here's the constraints okay constraints are not there but your num water bottles was just a limit of 100 if i go and show you the constraints so this was the considerable problem and it is just 100 so thus you can simply solve it in o of num this o of num num water bottle time num water bottle time and you can also say it will be num water bottle plus in num exchange but simply you can still boil boil it down to num water bottle time that's how you can solve it cool thank you for joining. goodbye take care bye bye it was again uh much 
tricky then the question number three question number three was much straightforward and easy but yeah that's the uh problem which we are saying bye bye take care i thought my mind was not even there but cool bye bye